Hello. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to connect your device and its extenders to Cubase 12. In this instance, we're going to be dealing with the Pro X. However, the principle applies to all current Icon devices and their extenders. First things first, make sure your controller is connected via USB to the computer. Please don't connect via an unpowered USB hub. These will often cause problems. A powered hub which is connected to the mains, like the Icon One hub, is ideal for such purposes. It would be ideal if you can connect directly to the computer. However, Pro XS users, please note that it's probably not ideal to connect via the USB ports at the back of the Pro X. Also, please be aware of any compatibility issues with your computer. Let's kick off with how to connect a singular device to Cubase 12. Before we do, it's worth noting that Cubase have added a new MIDI remote management system. In other words, it's a new way to connect MIDI devices. In principle, what this means is that pre-mapped devices can be automatically detected by Cubase 12. However, there are only a few devices from manufacturers that do this at the current time. But what this facility does give you is the opportunity to map your own functions to the faders, rotary controls and buttons of the device that you own. Although, in order to connect to Cubase 12, we really don't have to do that. We just have to connect via Maca Control. It's really simple, it's really straightforward, and here's how you do it. First off, let's say you've got a singular device, either a Pro X or a G2 or a Platform Nano or a Platform M Plus. Well, how do you connect it? Thankfully, the answer is quite simple. Let's go to Studio, then Studio Setup. I'll bring up this box here. And now we're gonna add a device, Mac a control device from this drop down box. We're going to select our device from the MIDI input and output. We've already connected our device via USB. We've connected our device by clicking apply. And hey presto, your device should be up and running. Now we're going to think about our extenders. We've got two extenders, so we're going to number the first one, one, and the second one, you've guessed it, two. Okay, we're going to add an extender now. So we've already connected via USB, and we're going to select another Mackey Control device, so Mackey Control 2. The same principle applies, we're going to add our device via MIDI input and output because we've already connected it via USB so our computer recognises it. Clicking apply and it should be connected. We're going to add a second and final device now, our second extender, and we're going to add that as Mackey Control 3 because we've got three devices and we're going to add that via MIDI input and output because we've already connected via USB and click apply and all three devices should now be connected. We've got our devices connected, but what if we want to put our devices in a particular order? Let's look at the two most popular configurations for two extenders and one main unit. Firstly, let's look at the most popular configuration, which is having the main unit in the middle and the two extenders on either side. The best way to think about this is from right to left. So the first unit we're going to add is on the right and we're going to work our way left. So because the extenders to the right of our configuration with our main unit in the middle, we're going to add the first Mackie control unit, which is going to be that extender, which in this case is our extender number two. So now we've added that extender, we're going to add our main unit, the Pro X.
Then working left again, our final unit, the extender number one. And we now have that configuration loaded. OK, let's look at our second and final configuration of this video demonstration. And this is where the main unit will be to the right, which means in the case of the G2 and the Pro X, that all the buttons will be to the right and then all the faders are on your left, which a lot of users prefer. This means that the Pro X is going to be on the right, which means that's the first Mackie control unit that you're going to add. So let's navigate again to Studio and Studio Setup. Let's add that first device. So this time it's going to be the Pro X. And that's our main unit. And apply. So what we've done is we've taken the extender that was originally to the right hand side of the Pro X directly to the left. That was extended too, if you remember. So we're going to add that one next. You can, of course, renumber the extenders. And then we're going to add our final extender, extender number one, all the way over there to the left. And that configuration is now complete. I hope that's been useful for you. My name's Steve from Icon Pro Audio and I'll see you next time.